Are you ready for what you're about to see? Look at that. What is that? What is that? I am in Amsterdam right now. <sighs> what a city. Amsterdam, what a city. Amsterdam, you know what? Let's just say hello to Amsterdam, shall we? Amsterdam, what is up? What is up, Amsterdam? Why isn't anyone looking at me? Nobody can hear me, it's crazy. I don't know what's going on. It's a crazy city, I love it. That's right. You can do the whole video here, eh? Just vlog the whole, uh, just vlog the whole thing right here. Monkey C. Monkey do, if I drink orange juice, so do you. Oh, it is so good. You gotta love that fruitarian diet. You gotta love that fruitarian diet. This video is about weight loss. I'm gonna keep it short, I'm gonna keep it sweet because you don't need to go too deep to understand what it's all about. If you're having weight loss issues, ask yourself, what are you waiting for? Anyone who's struggling to lose weight, anyone who's keeping the weight on, they're waiting for something. What are you waiting for? Whatever it is, go for it now. Don't wait. If you're holding on to something, you're not letting it go, let it go, just let it go. You feel so much better when you let it go, when you surrender, when you go with the flow. Let it go. Anyone who's severely overweight, they're holding on to a lot of emotions. They're holding on to a lot of baggage in, from the past. They're holding on to a lot of old stagnant thoughts. And they're not letting those thoughts come up and come out. They're suppressing them with more food and then more food and then more food. When a craving comes up, it's very uncomfortable to crave a food. Very uncomfortable. All sorts of thoughts come up that you don't want to feel, that you don't want to think about, that you don't want to experience. It's much easier just to grab food and eat it. So if you instead start to put more focus in life on things that you really love, things that really excite you, things that really fascinate you, and you start to express yourself more, rather than suppressing yourself, and you stop waiting around to feel good, you just go ahead and feel good now. Naturally. Without drugs, but rather with fresh fruit, sunlight, exercise, movement, connecting with other people. When you do the things that allow you to feel good, when you do the things that make you feel so good that you forget all about your weight loss issues, then you somehow magically reach your natural perfect body weight. So don't do things for weight loss. People ask, what should I do for weight loss? Don't do anything specifically for weight loss. Rather, do things that make you feel really, really, really good. Do things that make you feel so good that your weight loss issues or problems or struggles become irrelevant. Because that's the power of the mind. If, for example, you took some drugs like some ecstasy or some cocaine that made you feel so good in your mind, that made you feel so uh, ecstatic, so pleasurable, that your weight loss, you'd look, you'd look at your weight and be like, I don't care about my weight, I'm, I'm happy, I'm, I'm very blissed out right now, I could care less about my weight. That's the state you want to bring yourself into naturally, every day as often as possible. And you do that by focusing on things that you really enjoy. If there are things in, you, in your life that you don't really enjoy, like maybe your job, maybe your relationship, maybe where you live, start focusing on the opposite of that. Stop, start focusing on the thing that you actually do want. If you know what you don't want, then you know what you do want. So start focusing on what you do want. When you focus on what you do want, you feel good. Because you're feeling what it feels like to have that thing, to be that thing, to experience that thing. If you're overweight and you see a skinny person, or a thin person, or a fit person, and you feel somewhat resentful, or somewhat jealous, you gotta shift that around, man. You gotta start, you gotta start thinking, wow, that's such a beautiful body. They have such a beautiful body. I'm excited to also have that body, or I'm also thrilled to have my body. 
Appreciate what you have now. If you don't appreciate what you have now, then even once you do get skinny, even once you do lose weight, you're still not gonna appreciate what you have. I've worked with clients in the past, and I've worked with just friends in the past, helped them lose weight. And the clients who began to get happy now about where they're at with their body weight, regardless of what their body weight was, once they lost the weight, they were, they were happy. But they had learned how to be happy whilst they were overweight. And the clients, and the friends who didn't learn to be happy as an overweight person, once they lost the weight, they still weren't happy. Happiness is an inside job. It has nothing to do with the external environment whatsoever. People win the lottery, $32 million, no happier the next morning. People become world champions in any sport. Next morning they wake up, they're not any happier than they were the day before. Happiness is something you've got to learn how to cultivate regardless of your situation because it's got nothing to do with the outside world. Happiness has everything to do with the inside. This video is supposed to be about weight loss, but the reason you want to lose weight, the reason anyone wants to lose weight, the reason anyone wants anything is because they think it will make them feel better. So we go for it. We strive for that. And once we get it, we realize, oh, it didn't actually make me feel good. What's next? What else can I consume? What else can I reach for? What else can I strive for? But I mean, if, if you're on a goal right now, if you're on a journey right now, if you have a goal to lose weight, then my best advice would be to do things that just make you feel good. Do things that allow you to feel your best. Because when you feel your best, you will reach your optimal body weight. I recommend cold showers. Hot cold showers. Get in, have a nice hot shower, and then near the end, make it cold. I recommend meditation. Sitting and meditating every morning for 5 to 10 to 15 minutes. If you've never meditated once before in your life, meditate for just one minute. Notice how damn good you feel. And then I recommend focusing on the fruit. When you focus on the fruit, you get more of it. You get more of whatever you focus on. And then I recommend for fitness, finding an activity that you love to do. It could be audiobook walks, it could be running, it could be jogging, it could be swimming, riding your bike, boxing, MMA, UFC classes, whatever it is. Just do the things that allow you to feel your best. You can figure out what those are for you. Be aware every single moment of every single day, as best you can at least. Does this make me feel good? Does this make me feel bad? Do I enjoy feeling this way right now? Or would I rather feel another way? If you're having troubles with food addictions, food cravings, just know that's part of the journey. Personally, I struggled with food addictions big time. There's a big difference between having a life where you're a slave to your cravings, you've got a ball and chain around you and you can't get rid of the craving and you have to just eat the food, and a life where you're just totally free of cravings. When you go to bed at night and you're just like, I didn't have any cravings today. I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I'm going to have just food as well again tomorrow. There's a big difference between those two types of lives. So if you're having food cravings, just know it's very common in today's society. In fact, most people aren't even aware that they have a food craving. They just call it hunger. They think, I'm hungry. They're, they're unable to differentiate the difference between true hunger and a craving. Craving is what you get for a drug. You crave a drug. You don't crave healthy food. People say, I'm craving fruits. You don't crave fruits. You have a healthy desire for a fruit. You have a healthy, refreshing desire for, for a fruit, for a tomato, for a mango, for a peach. But you don't crave it. You don't like push and shove people out of your way to get that food. You don't have withdrawal symptoms from fruit. But you do have withdrawal symptoms from the foods that you crave. Because those foods, they act like drugs for a lot of people. So if you're having food addiction problems, focus on the fruit. Shift all your focus on the fruit. First, admit that you have a problem. That's huge. First, accept where you're at. And then focus on the fruit. Ask for help. Stay inspired. Stock your house up with fruits and vegetables. And take it day by day. Keep adding in new fruits. Keep adding in new fruits. Add in new fruits. Take it one food at a time, one day at a time. But seriously, focus on the fruits, guys. That's how you'll... Eat the best diet, and that's how you'll allow yourself to feel the best with diet. And that'll take a huge weight off your shoulders in the weight loss game. I hope this video helps. Hope you learned something. In summary, if you want to lose weight, do things that have nothing to do with weight loss. Do things that have everything to do with feeling your best.